Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Ariba from Iman Power. There is a big blunder I think most of us are making in the way we teach children to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm going to talk about that today. How do you teach children to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I'm sure you point it out to them, remind them to say alhamdulillah that we have food, alhamdulillah we have clothes, alhamdulillah we have money, home. And we teach them by reminding them to give from that as well. That alhamdulillah, Allah has given you the food. So share from, maybe even between siblings, share it with each other as a way of thanking Allah for it. We have clothes, so we give from it. We have money, so we give from it. Even children give from their pocket money, <laughs> right? We, have te we are teaching them to be grateful. We, don't, we are not generous because we feel like it or it makes us feel good. We are generous as Muslims because we are grateful to our Rabb for giving this to us. And we hope to be blessed with more. We are generous out of gratitude. Gratitude and generosity are linked together. Our generosity is a result of our gratitude to our Rabb who has blessed us with so much. It is an act of service to our Rabb. So then what is the blunder we are making? The blunder is often we focus on thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the things that he has given us. The material things. The food, the clothing, the money, which are temporary material things, not even nearly as valuable as what he has given us within ourselves. Our abilities, our intelligence, our Islam, our Iman, our ability to do good in this world, our talents, and not just our eyesight and ears, but what is in our soul. What is in our heart? What is in our ability to do good? Those gifts that Allah designed in us for giving us the best design. How much do we thank Allah for that? How much do we teach children to thank Allah for that? Do we focus on that? Isn't that far more valuable? Isn't that what they are going to take with themselves to Jannah? Not these things. Isn't that what is going to help them in being in Jannah? When we teach children to just thank Allah for these things, which are temporary, number one, one day they might not have it. And when they don't have it, then what? Are they still going to be grateful to Allah or will it be like, oh, oh now Allah is not giving me? Number two big problem with that is that when we teach them to only thank for these things and then give from that, we are telling them this is a valuable thing. Money is valuable. Clothes are valuable. Food is valuable. So let's give it to people because people need food and clothes. If that's what they need. So let's give from that. So they learn these are valuable things. People need them, which is true. People do need them. But what people suffering need far more than the food that you have or the money you have is you yourself, your efforts, your intelligence to help them solve their problems, not just apply a band-aid by giving a little bit of charity, but actually help them solve their problem, putting your efforts, your talents in that. That's what they need far more than that. They, those people who are suffering, you know, more than they need your money, they need your children's abilities their talents, their intelligence, to their efforts to help them come out of those problems. That is far more valuable. But do we focus on telling children that? Or are we just telling them that's valuable? When the ch we tell children, teach them how to use their own selves, their abilities, their gifts that Allah has given them, give from that because that is more valuable what you have inside you that is more valuable that's when they will be that's when they will see their own value i am valuable alhamdulillah that allah has given me this ability to speak well to be able to you know to think this way or to be that creative to be able to draw well and i can help using that whatever their talents are alhamdulillah allah built this in me 
I am valuable. People need my abilities. I can make a difference with them. Right now, most children probably feel, and that's we see in the high rising rates of depression and rising rates of suicide, that they are not valuable. They have no purpose. They're just here. They see no value in themselves. So they give their time to whatever game, whatever thing, and that's it. If you want to help them see their value, you have to help them give from themselves. That's when they will see their need. We often see parents telling children, you are awesome, you are special. And you know, once one of my students asked me, and asked her mother actually in front of me, that I know you have been telling me that I'm special, but why? When is that, what is that special thing that I'm, I do or I'm going to do? When is that day going to come? So her mother telling her that you are special, you are great, meant nothing to her. Because she wanted to see how she's special. And they will see how they're special when they use those special gifts inside of them in the service of the creation of Allah. And that's how, through which they're serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have, want to raise a grateful child who is grateful for who they are, self-confident, strong Muslims, leaders, then you must register them to Rising Heroes, which is a program which is going to give them an opportunity to use their talents, help them understand how to solve problems, become problem solvers, apply creative thinking, learn design thinking, work together with being positively influenced by their peers, not negatively influenced with all kinds of filth, but having positive influence in each other as they work together to help those people using their gifts, their abilities, learning that I am valuable. I can make a difference in this world. And if this child even goes back to play a game, they will never forget this. They will never forget the difference they could make even as a 10 year old. So register the rising heroes.